another episode of Big Eagle Media. Got two special guests. Let them know your names, guys. Hello, world. My name is Skits. Hello, world. My name is Donaldo Blair. Also goes as live with DB. Okay. Um, you guys, um, as part of a collective, have gone crazy over the last... Uh, I don't mean crazy as who you guys are, yeah. but crazy in the sense of everywhere, everyone's talking about you in Parliament, mm-hmm. on the news... Elon Musk, I see you guys in the US blogs. But before we get there, we'd like to know the people. We have to get to know who you are first. Mm-hmm. So we'll start with you, Skits. Tell us uh, where you're from, where did you grow up? I'm from Hackney, Stoke Newington. Stoke Newington? And, go on. No, and yourself? I'm from Bermondsey. Bermondsey. Okay, how old are you guys? I'm 20 years old. I'm 17. 17. So, um, let's talk about childhood quickly. Well, in regards to the areas you guys grew up, what yeah. was it like? Just want to go first. That was good. Go first. Um, yeah, well, my area, let's just say it's like EastEnders, yeah? This is how to cut it down really quick and simple. Um, my area is like EastEnders. It's like, you know everyone, there's not a specific, oh, you're this or you're that. There's no colours in my area. My area is just... There's you and there's him, and you all come together as a community. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, even nowadays, I see there's hella knife crime, like I've seen on your show before. There's hella knife crime. But back then, there was you used to talk to Johnny's uncle, or you used to talk to Bob's uncle, or someone's brother. You get what I'm saying? They didn't need to always be this altercation. They used to normally get sorted out with just a conversation. Now it's taking life. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And for yourself, growing up in Stock Newton, how was that for you? There's a racial divide amongst the whole of the globe. It doesn't matter where you come from, literally. Yeah. Where I come from, they look down on you. When you walk to the shop, they look down on you. They look down on you from their, from their nice apartments. They look down on you. It's not a nice area to live in. I don't feel included in my area. Uh, I can't say the same as DB has said personally. And it's funny because um, I once lived in Salt Newton. I once lived on Barbwood Road. Okay, that's behind, around the corner. Behind the mm. police station. And I know when I go to Stokey now, it's literally, you know, Stok- Stok- Newton High Street, you see everyone of different everyone. colours. You see Jewish Diverse, people, yeah. black people. You go into Church Street, it just seems posh. It seems yep. white. Yep. But black people are not there. Have you, yep. you, have you noticed that before? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Do you know about Shakespeare? Look at Shakespeare, the adventure playground that was running in Shakespeare. The funding has gone. The fences gone. are falling down. That's where I grew up. Like, and I know the youth out there now, which is replicating what we're doing. I'm telling the youth right now, stop doing what we're doing. Yeah. This is not the way I to mean, go. I mean, we'll get yeah? into that. We'll, we'll get, get into that. that. We will get into that. But I'm just making it clear from now because we're progressing into the video. However, we need more of these places to remain open. Especially youth And, and, and youth my childhood well, growing up was... <laughs> That aspect of it, yeah. being outside and being yeah. adventurous, I had the places to go, I had the resources, I had my youth club, I had adventure mm-hmm. up until I was around 16. Yeah, nice. I don't know what happened to the funding, I don't know what happened to society. Something happened in the last three to four years. I don't know if it's TikTok, I don't know what it is, something. And also, this is the result, point, this is the result of society, mm-hmm. by the way. Yeah. Like, and on the, on if society wasn't as flexible as it was, we would have never been able to even get to the position of doing what we're doing now. On that note of what you said, yeah, of the youth clubs. I, bro, I remember there was a youth club in Deptford. There was one near London Bridge. Um, there was like four in Deptford, let me say. There's like four in Deptford. That brings so many people from different communities to come to one community. And yeah, there might have been a little passa passa with there and there. But to be honest, it was more cool than now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like sometimes there might have been a hot spot, but at the end of the day, it was all one community. Do you know what I'm saying? Everyone knew each other. Right, let's go back to you guys as kind of um, childhood. What was your dream and ambition? What did you want to be? DB speak, man. Me. Well, okay, from I was young, obviously, I was like a kid in school where I always liked to ask questions, you know what I'm saying? And obviously, it didn't really get me nowhere in school, do you know what I'm saying? But when I see it on that where I'm out here now, where I'm asking questions and getting to know different things, it kind of helps me, do you know what I'm saying? So, it's just like, I wanted to be something big, but I never knew what big was, do you know what I'm saying? I, even the, what, last night, I was on the phone to someone and someone said to me, like, bond publicity, you need to find your purpose, yeah? And I said, cool, what's my purpose? Purpose, 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 purpose. But 
I was sitting down talking to someone and I called skits after and I said, skits, bro, I know what my purpose is, bro. I said, we can't have these young youths growing up how we grew up. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because where, where, bro, where is it going to go? Do you see what I'm saying? It's the same thing, same thing. But what do you think that insanity is exactly the same thing over the same thing, expecting that there's going to be another change? Bro, there's no change. We need to put a change. We need to start getting things to help the young youth so that they can get their head concentrated to keep them in check. So they ain't doing the nuisances that we're seeing on TikToks and seeing on Instagram. Do you see what I'm saying? It's a whole different world when you hit social media and no one sees that. It's, it's what was your ambition? What did you think? You know what? I'm into this. I want to be this when I'm older. What I'm going to say is I was bigger than I am now as a kid. And I'm going to let you lot do your own little background research because I haven't dropped any information on that so far. Reality is a facade. Social media is an illusion. You think you know us. You see us through a screen. You see what we desire to present to you. Mm -hmm. Same way the answer is wanted from me, but I can't fully reveal that answer. Okay. So before we get into the, the issue at hand, you guys have spoken a lot about sort of youth violence and... Uh, mm -hmm. protecting the kids and so on why do you think you guys didn't immerse yourself within the gang culture as so many kids are right now I mean, you right, guys taking cool. a different lane this one, yeah. you've taken a different lane so you're not <laughs> gang bangers per se but what made you say actually now nah, I'm not doing that okay so I've seen it starting to trend on social media that people think we are a result of bad parenting mm -hmm. that's completely <laughs> false as soon as you leave that door, you are an individual that yeah. has your own choices and your yeah. own actions to play around with. Mm -hmm. Cool. If you are in your parents' vicinity, then your parents have somewhat control Same. over what you do. Mm -hmm. However, the second you leave that door, you are manipulatable to everything, mm -hmm. to others, to things you see. So for me, I would say personally, I had a very strong moral compass compass which was given to me through my parents and guardians however as i've gotten older i've started to take things separately more into my own hands which hasn't necessarily been what they wanted it's the complete opposite of what they wanted literally so for me it was having my head screwed on to see through the facade of what gang culture actually is because it's not what it's made out to be in the slightest most of the time anyway. Now, um, oh, I can't say anything incriminating on here. So, what I'm going to say is, it's because of my parents, literally. Uh, yeah, and what, what kept you out? Well, this is a, uh, it's big, isn't it? Okay, okay, let me explain it. Well, I see that everyone says, da -da -da -da, your mom did it. Well, listen, my mom, she is from Jamaica, one, that says a lot. Um, she makes sure that I have respect to me, make sure that I carry myself because she tells me that I'm her image. Obviously, my dad died when I was young, obviously. Um, so I kind of had to step up. And I know people say, don't step up. You don't need to take the big um, risk on your head. But for me, that's my motivation, to be honest, yeah, because it pushes me so much because I see what my mom is in right now and what I want her to go into, yeah. And it's just like, for for everything to go away, there you have to have an ambition in life, yeah? And this is what I want to teach everyone. You can do this and you can do that, but you ain't going to end up where you want to be. You see what I'm saying? Because the road either leads you in debt or in prison. You get me? You see what I'm saying? So it's just a thing where you have to make your own decisions and it's kind of hard when we go outside and try to make our own decisions because there's a lot of people in the world that are in the same positions as us that they put us into a group. And you see what I'm saying? It's just like, it's hard to keep your head focused, very focused. You mentioned a word there, outside. Mm. It's, it's a word that you guys have been- Outside kind of, yeah. originated from me. Yeah. Outside. Yeah. Purely from me. Yeah. Outside. So you've said that now, right? So, what did it mean to be outside? Skits? Okay, so it started for me as a vibe. Literally, when it's hit that certain vibe, everything is vibrations. You walk into a room, you don't like a guy, you feel bad vibes from him, that's vibrations. When we hit this certain point of happiness, I used to say a phrase, we outside. 
And then Mizzy took it further and turned it Be into outside. a social media movement. Mm. And literally, we've been outside ever since. <laughs> it means we are not socially bound the same way that you are. Mm. You see a seat next to a person in between two people and you're feeling two ways about sitting there. That's mm. not real. Like, that isn't real. That's social etiquette, which we've been taught to reenact into our daily actions. These are all things designed to keep us controlled and stop us from asking questions. And we outside defies that logic, literally. Okay, so when did we outside then start becoming pranks? We outside was never purely pranks. We outside isn't pranks. Mm. We outside is a movement. Pranks is separate from the movement. Mm. When did the pranks start then? The pranks started mm, before social media. Yeah. We're pranksters. Pranksters, we find Every it fun night, to give yeah. pranks. We're not trying to incite violence or harm any individuals. Okay, all all of my old content, excuse me, all of my old content has since been removed off of my channel. Because it shows. Because it's, it's yeah. reinforcing a negative stereotype yeah. and it has negative connotations. Saw that coming before it dropped. Anyway, you yes. You walking spirits in this room. It's real. Talking this it's real. truth because we don't it's get, real. you know, it is we don't get the voice that we need in it. And I feel like this is why some people think that they are forced to go and do the extra stream. Do you see what I'm saying? Because they feel like all they want is a bit of recognition. Recognition. You get what I'm saying? That's all they really want. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm going to put it as simple as this. You, do you see it though? Do you see it? Has right. that happened in here before, guys, bro? Guys, if I don't make it back out alive, That's crazy. It, it, it was these guys that bought their spirits <laughs> in here. All of a sudden, things are flying in the room. I don't know <laughs> what's going on. on. I don't know what's going on. Open your mind. Men, Christ, where are you at? But no, let's, uh, all jokes aside. Go Open on. your mind. Anyway, essentially, you watching this video right now, you have fallen into the plan. Do you think we're here by chance? Do you think this happened by chance? There is a flaw in the social media system which has allowed us to use it to our advantage to get us into this place here, where I'm wearing this, where I'm saying my stuff, where you're waiting for me to give you the next piece of my wisdom. You're waiting for my answer. You're waiting for Mizzy. You're waiting for Mizzy to come out of prison. Literally. You're, you're waiting for him, bro. That's why you're watching this right now. And he knew that before he done what he did. I'm not going to say that he right. nah. made the right decision by doing what he did. He didn't. Mm -hmm. Definitely didn't. But what he did work, though, but if it, and that was, means and that means that there that. is definitely something wrong yeah. with the stuff that we have access to. And you know what? If Literally. we was there, I promise and I guarantee. If I that was it there, not have Mizzy happened. would not have gone not into that happened. house. It would not have happened because he knows when he's around us. He knows that we have the the mind, and it's all about the influence that all of this social media brings because everyone just sees what's on the. You see what I'm saying? Everyone sees the end video. They don't see where all of everyone's trying to. You see what I'm saying? So it's I all mean, about. I was like, you guys have come here. You seem very articulate, mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. intelligent young boys, right? Young men, I should say, not mm -hmm. young boys, young men. Very intelligent, very articulate. I can see you're well learned. And you're not your mm -hmm. typical. You get me, fan. Yeah, no. Uh, you, you, you speak well. But that's Indeed. because of. Let me say that's because of where I come from, Burmans. You see what I'm saying? Because there's so many cultures in one, yeah, and there's many languages in one. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's like. I was I was nurtured to always feel everyone's opinions and everyone's side. You see what I'm saying? But can you understand then, right? I see you guys, like I said, as young, intelligent young men, why there is such a concern in regards to of course, some of the definitely. pranks. Definitely, yeah. 100,000 I mean, million pranks, percent. Which pranks would you say, okay, that one's gone too far, including that guy into the home? Um, I would say the walking into random houses is a stretch. Walking into most back of shops is a stretch. Right. If you look at my own channel, I don't do that stuff. You don't promote that, no. I don't do that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I've never really done that stuff. My stuff, I'm not going to talk on my stuff. I don't want legal issues. But my stuff, I do somewhat regret as well. There's certain stuff which is taking it too far. Making people feel threatened is taking it too far. Whether you accidentally mean to do it mm -hmm. or you purposely mean to do it, it shouldn't mm -hmm. be posted to the internet because mm -hmm. that that's their whole visual, visual representation mm -hmm. being destroyed. Yep. Um I do believe that certain things have been blown out of proportion. However, there's a video circulating in the net right now which consists of Mizzy standing in front of a group of three individuals. There's a female on the left, there is a female on the right, and there is a young male in the middle. When I say young male, he's the same, as, same age as the rest of them. They're all young individuals. He is seen touching the person's head 
and they're trying to make it out as if he was assaulting Assault. a young female late at night. It wasn't even a female. Half of this stuff that you're seeing is being fabricated by us as well. And then further by the media. Like I say, it's all an illusion. But can you can you understand a uh, public reaction? Whether of course, it's a male of course, or a of course, female, of course, of course. It's late night. Of course, it's dark. Of yeah. course, and you have an individual touching you. Whether of course, he's not yeah. he's touching you. Of course, if that's I don't know if you guys got siblings, no, yeah. your, your, your female friends, female mm. guys, if they felt that way, like mm. just someone touching them, they'll yeah. feel intimidated. Of yeah, course, yeah. of course, and of even, course. But I still think yeah. that the truth deserves to be delivered rather than a false fabrication of what actually happened. Yeah. Mm. Because then it takes away from the whole thing happening in the first place. Because that's not even what happened. No. The, the, so what? Explain to me what actually happened. Then he, he, he's are the strangers, the people that are known to him. Like I said, they are random individuals. Yeah. However, the fact is being portrayed to the society and us, the consumers, as it being a female, takes away from the situation itself. Yeah. Because if you want anyone to feel any type of empathy or anything like that you have to start by telling the truth they're not even telling the truth okay they're painting let's the guys out to be villains or something okay let's let's, let's take the truth it's the truth that it's a man hmm. still no yeah i understand a man come in mm-hmm. yeah touch mm-hmm. you don't mm-hmm. know them yeah mm-hmm. no i'm i'm especially not saying in the day of knife crime that yeah is, yeah no you never know what, yeah yeah no 100 percent. i'm not saying i'm not saying that it's right what he did yeah. at all you just want it to be the, i'm just saying yeah. it for what it is in yeah. black and white yeah. these lot are doing it in gray Mm. That's not true. That's not what happened. It's wrong what he did, but at least get it right. Mm. What about the lady um, and the dog, the old lady, the dog? I don't believe, I, I don't agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't no. agree with that. But one thing I was with my partner. Uh, and with the, the old age, you never know what could have that caused. Heart yeah. Attack, yeah. And so on. And that's what it is. I feel like, do you know what it is? He was supposed to come onto an interview. I don't want to say it, obviously, but um, he was supposed to come onto an, another interview and he was supposed to get his point across and actually apologise because I know he is sorry and you can see he that he's sorry. He was meant to be an interview yeah. yesterday. Literally yeah. Instead, yesterday, he's incarcerated. He's instead, he put himself into surrender. There's a video going around in there, obviously. Yeah. Um, he had to surrender. But you can tell he's sorry. Like, come on, like, he built a, a platform, and I understand he's done something bad in it, but he's built a platform up here. And obviously, where I've seen, I can see behind the scenes, mm. he's built a platform, and it's just like obviously all gone, obviously, to what he has done. And you can tell that he tried to build it up, build it up, build it up. But Hear this. the end result made him. Clash. We're talking about Mizzy right now. Yeah. We're talking about Mizzy right now. Who, who even is Mizzy right now? It's not Mizzy. We're talking about Bakari. It's Bakari or Garo who's in prison right now. It's not Mizzy. Mizzy is a social media facade. I grew up with Bakari. Yeah? I've known him since I was... Yeah. Tiny. Tiny. Yeah, Yeah, tiny, man. All of us have dreams and ambitions of making it out. We're just trying to play the cards we was given. Try, like, yeah, try cool. and get out. We might have stretched it a little bit. Stretch means we've taken it too far. Let too me start far. talking plain English yeah. for the consumers. We are not trying to incite violence. No. We are not trying to encourage the youth to go off the rails and f- become rugrats of society. Yeah, rugrats that's not that's not what we're trying to do. Mm-mm. Half of the stuff that you're seeing right now, you are seeing purposefully because the media wants to portray a bad image of us. This video right now isn't the video which is gonna be in the news the next morning. Mm-hmm. But this is the video that matters we're trying to I'm actually change the youth, like, and told them that these pranks are not. They're not. It's not even. It's bro. not even about the yeah, pranks. Bro. It's not even about the it's pranks. Not, Mizzy bro. stretched it. I'm not Mizzy. Yeah, we're not Mizzy, bro. I do like today. The reason why comedy. I came here is to tell you guys watching this video yeah. that you are full of unlimited, unlimited potential. Yeah. yeah. Take us for example. We might have done the wrong thing. But we've gotten to where we've gotten to because we believed. If you believe in That's yourself, hard. you can achieve anything. Anything, bro. It's hard. And when he comes out, I'm sure he'll be able to articulate his message better than mine. Because I can't tell you someone else's what message. Thinking? All I can tell you is the thought behind the message. And I know it wasn't malicious. Yeah. He, he, he didn't go into that house to harm harm anyone. Danger anyone's life. But I he understand. did. But he did. He yeah. did. But he unintentionally. I, I agree. I agree he unintentionally harmed people. Yeah. And I don't believe... And it doesn't have to be physical. It could be emotional. I don't believe he went into that house mm. with intent yeah. to harm people. Yeah. However, he did harm he people. Harm. Yeah, yeah. I think it comes down to... Mentally. I, I, I definitely and agree. I definitely agree yeah. he didn't go in there to harm anyone. Yeah. I don't think his intention is to be violent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it is technically... <laughs> pranks yeah. but i think it's a more so about being socially aware yeah aware, yeah because you never know who being it could have been socially aware because yeah. 
you go into someone's house and they have their young daughter there, mm. you don't know. I mean, let me put it this way. If that person had now not known what's happened, mm. took a knife out mm. and used that knife, would yeah. you guys have blamed the guy? Do you know what it is? Mm. We wouldn't have. And yeah, Mizzy no. wouldn't have blamed Mizzy him either. Yeah, this have. is one thing that the guys firmly believe yeah. in. Anything you do, we understand the precaution. You are doing it. Yeah. Before yeah. you do what you do, just know there's gonna be a backlash or a, a positive comeback to it. You see what I'm saying? Like he knows either way there could have been a good one or a bad one. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know it was gonna be this bad. You see what I'm saying? Before but, you do what yeah. you do, think, think, bro, think three times and do it once. Before you do what you do, think. Just think, everyone just think, bro, because it looks fun and the clout looks fun. Let me land. land. Before you do what you do, you know what you're doing. Regardless whether you fully know it or not, you're mm. being raised in a society which has taught you that certain things are right and wrong. Mm -hmm. And we implicate that in our daily actions. So him going into that house, he knew there's a chance of all of this stuff happening. You don't just walk into a random person's house. That doesn't happen. Mm. He's the first person to do it the way he's done it. And that's why it's gone as big as it's gone. Mm. He's an intelligent person to a degree. Everyone is to a degree. So he knew right from wrong. He just didn't fully know that this was going to be the backlash. I'm sure he would not have done this if he knew that this would happen. Furthermore, if he knew that there were going to be harmed any type of way, mentally, it, physically, any type of harm or negative things that they got from this video being posted, he wouldn't have done it. That's how I wish we was there, bro. For I real. mean, let me, let me, let me, cause I was watching some of your videos and some of your socials and you, you guys need to understand, sometimes I don't think we are aware of our powers and influence, mm -hmm. right? You guys, from what I've seen, have got the power to mobilize youths. Mm -hmm. You're not responsible for them. You're not their fathers. You're not mm -hmm. their mothers. Mm -hmm. But you have got we that power to exactly. mobilize youths. Yeah. Right? And that right there, if we can Use harness that and we can Put it back turn it into mm -hmm. positivity, Become that's all we want. The youth are the next adults. Yeah. Like, even us, I'm an adult now. Adult now. My, mentally, I don't think I'm an adult yet. Mm. That's why the term adult is just the term, term. even then. Yeah, but now there's some legal connotations to what an adult is and what isn't. Mm. But it's been scientifically proved that people mentally age at different rates. So, separate from that now, if we can harness the youth in a positive way, all we're doing is positively impacting the future of the earth. Like, the goal mm. is to preserve the earth, literally. Literally. So what would you guys say is the angle now? Because like now you guys are known... Uh, people might be looking out for your pranks now. Is there still a space to do pranks now? Or well, people, like, is it a turn off now? That's perfect that you said that because when Mizzy comes out, yeah, we're going to have a big talk and we want to rebrand all of our content. We Obviously, I don't do pranks myself. I do comedy. I do POVs, obviously little skits and stuff. Um, But I feel like he wants to make a funny prank. If that's what you get what I'm saying, the word funny prank, you get what I mean? But he just wants to rebrand his content because he didn't want to harm people he wanted to make people laugh but maybe his humor wasn't as everyone's humor do you see what i'm saying so now he's gonna have to think how can i then further get everyone's humor yeah. and what would you say to that we're having to seriously reevaluate the way that we portray ourselves on social media mm -hmm. put it that way we're not trying to see any negative backlash from the things that we've done however I can understand and appreciate that mm -hmm. some of us have done things which are not Acceptable, okay yeah. in today's society. Mm -hmm. However, what I would like to say and make clear, yeah, there is reason as to why this is happening. We don't believe that the way society is working right now mm -hmm. should be working how it's working. Please tell me why I've got friends who can't afford to get Riz and Roach. <laughs> like, obviously, Stump. we shouldn't need Riz and Roach. Yeah. Yeah? We shouldn't need Riz and Roach. Yeah, yeah, but why, why, why is why there people which can buy this building 30 million times and people which can't even afford water from the shop? They need like, to why, build. why? Why is there 1% of the world which is controlling 99% of the rest of the population? It doesn't make sense to me. So, yes, yes, the guys are doing mad, crazy things, but we've got your attention now, and I've got a message to spread personally. So, in all of this, 
there was a method to the madness. Method to the madness. There's always a method Definitely to the madness. Definitely, my brother. You know you and Mizzy separately. Mm. I wish Mizzy was here right now yeah, because me real, and him would be real, able man. to fully... Say what he wants to say. Fully show you the plan. You know, I can fully show you the plan, but I'm just kind of holding back right now. <sighs> You're falling right into our plan. This is part of the plan. Mizzy shouldn't have walked into that house, but he basically fast-forwarded the plan. The plan. Either way, we've been go doing up. controversial stuff for a while, and any of you lot which are going to watch this and comment, well, you're going to comment. You do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Pierce Morgan, who wants him for an interview, you do the same okay. thing. You've got adverts around saying love him or hate him. You're still, still going to watch, watch him. him. This is what you do. We learnt from you guys. We you learnt from the news, which tells you half of the story. Mm -hmm. Marmite. Marmite. Do you hate it or you love it? Regardless, you're watching, and I'm speaking, and you're listening. You're listening. This is the plan. And you're only falling into it further. Let's build the community from the bottom to the top. So what's so what's kind of next then? Because like I said, you guys got power of the youth in your hands. Well, how are you gonna guys gonna lead the Jews into this promised land per se? I have multiple things in the works which I can't really speak on. Sure. Yep. I don't mind, bro. No, it's all good. All right, cool. I have multiple cogs in the back to this machinery that I'm working with right now. For example, we want a space for the youth where they can physically meet up because nowadays everything is social media. Yeah, all it is is influence. Like this is a, this is affecting your subconscious. Every single time you watch something, it affects yeah. your, like your subconscious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like. You may act one way, but be thinking a completely different entirely way without even knowing you're thinking like that because mm. of what you've watched. Mm. And I think that if we had a physical place where people could meet and be entertained and have something to do, mm. half of the stuff you're seeing, like, all right, cool, let me put it like this. Me and Mizzy do silly things. Why the hell is the rest of the society of this country copying us? Why? Because they're bored, bro. They don't have anything to, to do, do, bro. They shouldn't be copying this. I'm not tell No one's told you guys to copy us, especially me. When you see me punch walls, I say, do not try at home. Mm. I am a, a professional yeah. martial arts practitioner. Yeah. They're still attempting it. Why? Because there's nothing for them. I mean, is, is, are you actually yeah, yeah, she is. Yes, yeah. I do jujitsu and Wing Chun. Okay. And this is exactly my point. They like, don't see it. You don't see this aspect. All you see is what I decide to show you. And I put it in front of your face. It's an illusion. Half of the things say, oh, you know, I'm not even gonna, not even gonna shed too much light. But don't you think that, although yes, uh, you are trained, if you're showing this, young people are still impressionable. They're still gonna punch the wall. Yes, 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 to a degree. However, but he has. I'm told impressionable to what you just said. Yeah. And you're impressionable to what I just said. Everything is impression. So does that mean that everyone shouldn't have a voice? We should yeah. remain silent? No. That's what a platform's for. Yeah. Literally, that's like saying GTA should be banned. Twitter got bought for a reason and now you see Donald Trump back on Twitter. If Donald Trump's allowed to speak, I'm allowed to speak. So, I mean, just in terms of, like you said, right, you're a martial art professional practitioner and you want to inspire the youth and you want this space. I just got an idea for you here. I can get you a space. Okay. Right? To use maybe once a week. No, I'm listening. You invite your followers, your young people. Okay. You and you like that. But death, I told... Death, death, I, mean, I can get that sorted but look, within but a look, week. But look, the funny thing is, yeah. we want opportunities. Yes, to we, be honest, yeah. we want people with opportunities that give us opportunities because we will do anything to grab our opportunity. Pause, 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 pause. I'll take you up on your offer. Yeah. However, I don't want it to be strictly focused around jujitsu. No. I believe every single person should learn how to defend themselves. Mm -hmm. Because of the society that we live in. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, yeah. if you have melanin in your skin, you are more likely to be a victim of knife crime, which is appalling. And there has been no type of backlash on that. Why are we even talking about this right now? There's people getting killed right now this second. You lot make money off of that because that's less people who are going to grow up to claim benefits or whatever you try and make us out to be. You don't want us around, bro. This is why you're cancelling the people, literally. Because it profitizes you. Anyway, 
sure. If you have a space, I would more than likely take you up on the offer. We can speak off camera and go into some arrangements. Thank you. I appreciate it. Any kind of last words to the people out there so they can kind of understand what your message is, what the movement is. So you say so, and I'll finish it. In no uncertain terms, they'll say, well, I've left that, that interview confused. Mm -hmm. So the last message is they know exactly what your purpose is and what you want. I am going to say sorry on the behalf of my friend Mizzy, or as they say, Bakari, because everyone knows his name now, obviously. But... I really believe that he was sorry because I see the behind the scenes of what he does and you can see from a person's energy what portrays off of someone, you can see that he was really in deep thought about what he done, you get it? Um, other Physically than that, separate off yeah, of the video. Yeah, other than that. But um, I just feel like everyone just should stay tuned because this is about to get flipped and we're about to reband every single bit of our content. Real life. And it's about to be of madness, like, right, yeah, cool. yeah, madness. I would like to bring this to a close by apologising on behalf of Mizzy for the uproar spreading across the social media platforms. However, I would also like to let you know that you have been played into a scam, into a plan, and you're falling into it. You, you still want the answer from me. What, what's the movement? Find out. Watch and see. And that, guys, was another big ego 